So Chuck Kim has been in there with some great guys, as uh, Jeff mentioned. And with that, here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you as we welcome you to the Tuskegee Palace Hotel and Casino here in Lamore, California, as the Tuskegee Yoga Tribe and Comcast Sports Net present the big night of mixed martial arts, the Palace Fighting Championship. Powered by Clark, the caffeinated alcohol beverage, and brought to you by Giant Chevrolet Cadillac, home of the 559 Custom Miller Lite and Mickey's Malt Beverage. With that, at this time, we present TFC action in the lightweight division. We are scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 5 feet 8 inches, he weighed in at already 152 pounds. With a background in wrestling, his record is even up with 6 wins and 6 losses. Hailing from Bakersfield, California, introducing Chuck Kim. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, standing 5 feet 9 inches, he weighs in at 156 pounds. He is a three-star fighter with a record of 12 wins, two losses, and one draw, hailing from Oakland, California, introducing Dominique Fallen Angel Robinson. And now we're introducing a referee in charge, Josh Rosenthal, now to give the instruction. So we're just about set to go. Dominic Robinson will come out of the red corner and Chuck Kim out of the blue corner. Kim says, I'm a samurai. That you learn all you can to be a better warrior, and that's what he's trying to do here tonight. I think a lot will do with the Ranger. Kim will look for a takedown. He needs to set it up well, though. Oh, that was an effective leg kick. What was it? And look at him, he was diving for the leg. getting turned down. And Robinson having none of it right now. Well, he's using the, uh, set, or the uh, rope to his advantage, a little rope a tactic where you can lean back and know you're not going to fall over. Really in the corner, he could be more effective in the middle of the ring. Robinson complaining that knee was low. Now Robinson gets him turned. Now, Winds up in the corner again. Kim's still trying to take him down. Knee from Robinson. And Kim felt that leg kick from Robinson and immediately closed the distance. We'll have none of that. Robinson stuck a little uppercut in there, too. Robinson is picking his shot. And they've been effective so far. Robinson turns into the corner where he wants to be. He's not wasting any energy at all. He's letting Kim do all the work at this point. Just countering and countering and countering. You wonder if Kim's arms are going to get a little tired here. He was arm checking the left leg, watching the knee kick to the body. Good knee again. That hurt Kim. Kim oh. hurt. Another. He comes right back to it. Dance with what brings it. Boy, Ty Clinch, and it's a fair, wow. Good knees, solid right hand. Robinson looking really effective. Maybe those fights fight for on his front porch. He's now measuring Kim up. And again, kick to the back of the knee. And again, then takes him down. Doing a great job on the kick. Wise, it seems Robinson has a huge advantage. Kim's kick 
on the Kim almost falls kicking Robinson. There's a huge difference in age here too. 39 to 26, Kim being 39. Now Kim doesn't have to get up right away. Robinson's giving him no room. I wonder if his knee's okay. Shot right to the midsection. Kim can up kick all he wants to. Good hammer punch. Kim wants to stay down. I think you're right, Jeff. End of the first round. Big round for Robinson. There was a nice left knee, and you can see that must have caught him in the rib. Boy, look at him. He's holding his gut. There's another one and another one, and that one's been buckled his leg. He's got to get out of that boy, Clint, and as soon as he does, he ate a right he hand. right hand. Real effective. And there's the power of that kick, Andre. Knocks him down. The only criticism I probably have of Robinson is that a couple of times he hesitated when he had his opponent hurt. He could have jumped on him a little quicker. A little cautious is the first round. That first round all to Robinson. Yeah, I came out with an idea of what he wanted to do and he executed it, I thought, perfectly. What do you say to Kim when you're in the corner? Good luck. Well, at this point, you know, you either got to cut the range, quick chase you, and then go under. But I don't, I don't think he should trade. Stay outside, force him flee, or There's the Muay Thai punch again. That's what you want to do, push him right into the rope so he can't pull your head down. The only time Kim has had any kind of success is backing Robinson up against the rope and in the corner. And even then, he's not scoring. Robinson is basically letting him lay on. Right. It's not success as much as he's not getting hurt. In his world, that might be at this point in this fight, it could yeah. be. Just unable to take Robinson down. Turns him again, and Robinson turns right back into the corner. Right here, he might be able to drop to the legs, but he didn't do it. As soon as Robinson gets those arms under his arms, called an underhook, stops him from changing levels. And Rosenthal intercedes, saying not enough action. Watch for the leg kick. The right hand is there as well. Hadn't really thrown too many punches. That time, Kim taking a dive, goes to the leg, gets one knee. Needs to swing to his left. Take the weight off the head, turn the corner. This might get stopped. This is where you need to move up. Oh, good elbow. And he moves up effectively. Now can he finish? I wouldn't move up the body. He's already been there. It didn't work. And he does that. Did he let Robinson off there? He let Robinson off. I would have tried to work that single, bring him out from the corner. The leg's up. He can do it. Oh, he's hurt now. Yeah, that was another knee that got in. Yeah. He's in real trouble here. Yeah, this one is almost <laughs> over, and now it is over. And Robinson finishes it off handsomely. Once he got him hurt, he got him out. Here's another look at the end. And right there, that right knee, you saw Kim buckle. He got his right side of his ribs hurt, and that time the left side. And once he went down, he ate those right hands. Referee Josh Rosenthal properly stopping that fight. TKO for Robinson. And I'll tell you, Barry, he looked good. He's well-rounded. Good kicks. Solid ground game, solid punching. Yeah, it really did. And he beat a guy who's been around a little bit. That 12 fights and uh, has been in there with some of the best in the world. And Robinson really never never let him into the fight, I don't think. No, uh, and you know, Andre mentioned it early about this being a hobby for Kim. He's a food broker, has a full-time business. And, you know, 39 years old, only Ladies part timing it. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Number two, our referee in charge, Josh Rosenthal. Stop the contest. You just strike. He is the winner by way of knockout. Dominique Fallen Angel Robinson. The Palace Fighting Championship continues in just a moment.